the captain's eye view of our voyage south as the icebreaker Arctic sunrise pushes through into the remote waters of the Weddell Sea, a vast unknown territory. Few ships venture this far. Our team has already made an attempt this Antarctic summer, but was foiled by ice. And the captain's trying to weave a way through all these ice flows to get as far down into the Weddell Sea as possible, to try and reach the 64th parallel, the beginning of what would be the protected zone. Looks like an opening a few degrees to port. Yes, I'll make this break through some ice and it looks like open water after that for a while. Finally, we break through into the isolated area of the proposed sanctuary. At the moment, I, I checked on the, um, the satellite charts this morning and there's us and one other ship in this entire space. There's us there and another ship about there and that's it in that whole whole area. That's uh, slightly scary. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> very but, uh, exciting as well. But exciting and kind of just makes a case that this yeah. is pristine. This area is not um, developed. It's not got industry. It's never had industry. Sarah, you have green light, green light. We take our chance in this rare window of weather to take to the air and look down on the mesmerizing scene below. The western edge of the would-be protected zone, breathtaking the raw power of land and sea and ice constantly reshaping, on the move. This is nature on a planetary scale. So what we're looking at here is multi-year sea ice and great icebergs that have been carved off the glaciers sweeping off James Ross Island. And the Weddell Sea extends way into the distance over there. The proposed area pretty much untouched by human activity. Almost no scientific research has taken place. Back to base, the Arctic sunrise standing by for our return. Alongside her, a giant tabular iceberg, perhaps a kilometre long. The next helicopter sortie is to the very top of it. The expedition team are making a dramatic landing to spread the sanctuary message around the world. This iceberg, thousands of years in the making, now adrift in a process that has been going on for hundreds of thousands of years, a process it seems may be changing because of global warming. And in a day of scenic wonder below, the Antarctic day ends with a spectacular show above. This, apparently, a reverse sunset phenomenon, while simultaneously the clouds morph and shape and colour into a fantastic, unworldly painting across the evening sky at the ends of the Earth. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Antarctica.